The revolution's begun The time to stand up has come We are the rocking of the throne We are the rocking of the throne Victor Tiffany here with Revolt Against Plutocracy. We set this YouTube channel up in large part so we could address our critics next time we came around and did Bernie or Bust. And of course, there's plenty of critics. Most recently, yesterday, Ed Kilgore, writing in the New York Magazine, in an article entitled, Not as many Bernie or Bust voters as feared, is a damn good start in this process. Kilgore, we learned from WikiLeaks, let's go back to 2016, we know that the media will write what the campaigns want them to, and Kilgore is a Democratic Party strategist. So in the case of this article, there's no distinction between the Democratic Party establishment and New York Magazine. These are one and the same. So Kilgore is speaking on behalf of the establishment. And what he's trying to say here is, based on... Uh, polling done by YouGov uh, and then analyzed by Nate Silver. You remember Nate Silver. He predicted Hillary Clinton would become the next president of the United States, along with a lot of other pollsters, to be clear. According to Silver's analysis, 28% of Democrats who have decided on a candidate want Bernie Sanders. They're going to vote for Bernie Sanders. And just about as many of those 28% of the Democrats have decided they're going to vote for Joe Biden. So 28% of the percent of the people who, of the 28% who have already made up their mind who they're going to vote for is 8%. And Nate Silver calls these people who have decided they're going to vote for Bernie Sanders next in the primaries next year, he calls them Bernie or Bust. They're not Bernie or Bust. They're people who have made up their mind. They may vote for the nominee. Just because they've made up their mind who they're going to vote for doesn't mean that they're not going to vote ultimately for the nomination. And to sort of drive this point home, Nate Silver calls the 8% who have made up their mind they're going to vote for Joe Biden, Biden or bust. There is no Biden or bust. Right? There's two rough classifications of Biden voter, people who have decided they're going to vote for Biden. There's a small percentage who, if Bernie Sanders is the nominee, they're going to vote for Trump. Right? They'd rather have a corporate, uh, disgusting corporation, a, a, a revolting plutocrat in the White House, than a democratic socialist in the White House. They're much closer to Trump's policies than they are Bernie's. So this is, I don't know, 5%, 2%, I don't have any polling. This is a small fraction, super delegates to be sure, who will support Trump if Bernie Sanders wins the nomination. So they, that small percentage of that 8%, are Biden or bust. But the vast majority of Biden's supporters are blue no matter who. They say so. That's what they were saying. That's what the Clinton supporters were saying. The blue no matter who. That's that's what they're going to do. They're not Biden or bus. So Silver was pulling this expression out of his rectum. And then Kilgore uses this analysis to make the case that um, you don't have to worry about. It's only 8% of Bernie supporters are Bernie or bus. Of course, that's not... I mean, those people aren't Bernie or Bust necessarily. What they are is pro Bernie. They may be sheep who will follow Bernie into the neoliberal fold like so many did last time. Or they may be Bernie or Bust. There's another poll out that the right wing media have picked up on, the Washington Examiner, and I'll put a link to this below, claim that 20% of Bernie supporters are Bernie or Trump. They call these people Bernie or Bust, but they're not. Bernie or Bust is a strategy for revolution. If you are Bernie or Trump, you're not a revolutionary. You are exercising leverage, but you're not a revolutionary. 
in my view, you're not particularly bright if you're going to support a climate terrorist, a pathological liar, and a, a plutocrat in the general election. If that's your idea of, of revolution, you've got to go back to school. Burning your bust is standing firm for a progressive, and only a progressive. That is what or bust means. We will vote for Socialist Party candidate, Green Party candidate. It will be a progressive vote. And if the Democrats are smart, it will be for Bernie Sanders as the Democratic Party nominee. Because only Bernie can pull together the Bernie Busters, the Bernie or Trumpers, poor people, because they're going to go to Trump if it's Joe Biden or any other neoliberal. They know what these neoliberals have been doing to the job market in this country. Outsourcing jobs right and left. That's the Clintonian way. That's the Biden way. That was the Obama way. That Trans-Pacific Partnership was a real eye-opener. And it wasn't just the progressives who had a good close look at it. People understand what these free trade agreements are doing, these so-called free trade agreements. They're transforming this country into a corporate order, and the Trans-Pacific Partnership would have taken a huge leap in that direction. So these people are not, these eight percenters are not uh, burning or bust. But Kilgore thinks that's fine. You know, eight percent, we don't need those eight percent, even though that's not the pe that they're not burning or busters. Apparently, he thinks that the twenty percent, who are burning or Trumpers, we don't need them either, right, Ed? Is that how it goes? You think a neoliberal can win this election? Joe Biden can win this election against Bur against uh, jo uh, Donald Trump, sitting on a very good e economic situation. Unless there's a downturn in the economy, it's going to be tough to unsee him. It's going to take a huge coalition. You're going to need the Bernier Busters. You're going to need the Bernier Trumpers. You're going to need poor people because they're going to go to Trump, or they're going to go to a Democratic Socialist. And the same with poorly educated people. This is what political science is showing. That the people are fed up with the centrism, this neoliberalism. They're tuned into it. Neo, the floor has dropped out of the neoliberal base, the center. And people like Ed Kilgore have no idea. And he concludes his statement. I just want to read this to you. For those terrified by the apparent Sanders supporter defection rates of 2016 is worth observing that they were almost certainly driven by the near universal assumption that Clinton had the general election in the bag. End quote. Oh, it could have been due to the fact that Hillary Clinton was a reckless warmonger planning to go to war against Russia over Syria, her no fly zone. No, oh, I doubt that had anything to do with people choosing Trump over Hillary Clinton. Or the fact that she's a neoliberal, a job outsourcing free trade neoliberal. That didn't have anything to do with people choosing Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton. The fact that she was loathed, the fact that she was distrusted, the fact that, like Trump, she was a liar, right? No, I had nothing to do with it. People voted for Trump or cast a quote unquote protest vote because. Apparently, Clinton had it in the bag. Boy, is that wishful thinking. I'm sure he got that logic pulled right out of his rectum. He finishes his article with the following sentence. Unless the 2020 Democratic nominee is leading by 30 points, which hasn't happened in my lifetime, and is poised to win all 50 states, that sort of freedom to vote your conscience, I'm using my words, that sort of freedom to cast a protest vote or non-vote, staying home, without consequences, is unlikely to reappear this time around. In other words, don't be afraid, just ignore these people and vote for whoever, whatever neoliberal you want. Because these Bernie or Busters aren't serious. They're, 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 they're going to get in line. They're going to vote blue no matter who. Right, Ed? Isn't that what you're saying here? I got news for you. Bernie Sanders is the only candidate with a chance of defeating Trump who is going to do what's necessary for climate preservation, the Green New Deal. You're not going to get a Green New Deal out of Joe Biden or many of these other Democrats. Some of them support it, but only Bernie Sanders is going to push it ardently. Only Bernie Sanders can 
do what's going to be required to preserve the climate. And maybe no one can preserve the climate. But only Bernie Sanders has the wherewithal, the integrity, and the fortitude. He's been talking about this for decades. Only Bernie Sanders is, is trusted to take on the responsibility of passing the Green New Deal, of getting some kind of massive carbon capture program mobilized by the federal government, and on and on. There's so many things that need to be done. We need to cut back on industrial scale pesticides before all the flying insects are wiped out, because we're going to be right behind that particular extinction. So no, Ed, you, might, you criticized those of us who are our way or the highway in this article, quoting from Patrick Walker's Nation of Change article. Yeah, it, it, it is our way, because any other way is the road to extinction. Does that register in your mind, Ed? You prefer a neoliberal who's going to keep fracking us over? Joe Biden isn't going to stop fracking. He's not going to stop the turning uh, the United States into an energy uh, capital of the world. It's going to take a progressive. There's no question about it. We need a progressive. Bernie or bust is, in effect, progressive or bust. Because it's no big difference, other than style, between a neoliberal like Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Trump's Supreme Court nominees are worse than Joe Biden, but Joe Biden's going to give us these goddamn free trade agreements that are going to destroy this planet and undermine our democratic order. These neoliberals and these free trade agreements like the Trans-Pacific Partnership are a greater threat to democratic order in the United States and other countries around the world than Donald Trump. So yeah, Ed, it's our way or the highway. And if you want to spread the word that voters shouldn't be scared of us, you're contributing to the re-election of Donald Trump. Let me be clear. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Revolt Against Plutocracy won't just be covering the news about the necessary revolution in the United States. Sometimes, we'll be making the news. If you want to stay on top of the revolutionary actions and strategies of grassroots, genuine progressives, and our allies, please subscribe to our YouTube channel today.